just your average Joe writer. Hi, I am John. I'm an aspiring novelist in my senior years. This is one of a series of videos that I'm making about using Eon Timeline to bring structure and sequence to the zero draft of my science fiction novel. I should say that this does not set out to be a promotional video. I am not affiliated with, nor am I sponsored by, Eon Timeline. This is just the story of me finding my way through the Eon Forest and I'll try to keep on a clear track, but sometimes I may get lost. I hope if you want to follow along, maybe you'll get some ideas for yourself, things to try, things to avoid, and maybe you'll see some things you know you could do better, in which case feel free to leave suggestions in the comments. Oh, and you might subscribe to the channel as well, just to let me and YouTube know that you would like to see more. What we are looking at here is the timeline view of a part of my novel. The working title of the novel is Loose in New London. Yes, it is a pun. The novel does not set out to be funny, which is probably why I'm going to have to change that title. But Loose in New London is what it's called at the moment. So, as you can see, it's very complicated. And what I want to do is to bring it a bit more in focus. So let's change the zoom level. Here we go. Uh, so most of the novel takes, my novel takes place on a single day. Uh, about 70% of it takes place on a single day. And there are six point of view characters. And I'm using the colors to distinguish between them. What you can see here is the events of the day. Um, and what you can see is that I'm navigating by using the slider in the right hand side of the screen to, to go up and down. Um, that's useful. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, there is the, uh, the timeline slider, which is the, the white box, which I have talked about in the previous video. So I move the slider to put everything in the center. All right, so this is the actual novel that I'm working on. But uh, to make things a little bit more straightforward, I have a different uh, timeline, which is um, much less populated and which I will use to demonstrate this video for this video. So let's go to uh, Reconstruction 2. So here we are. So what you see on the screen is Eon Timeline as I left it at the end of the first video. In the last video, I showed you how I was creating events to define the weather conditions and the light for that day, which is Monday, the 21st of June, 2500. All well and good, but sometimes I have opened Eon, opened the software and found myself at today's real date. I don't know why that happens, but more often I found myself at some other time, presumably the time when I was working, where I was working when I last closed the software down. Sure, I can get back to the 21st of June 2500 where I want to work by scrolling sideways using the time slider at the bottom, but it's fiddly and it takes time. So what I want is some way to set today's date to the 21st of June 2500. What we can see here is a way to uh, scroll or to rather to move, to navigate through the timeline using the uh, using a, a scroll to date instruction here. So the uh, date button at the bottom opens this panel. And if you then um, click on the uh, scroll to date link, what you get is this um, you get this scroll to date panel and what you can do is to put into the field at the top there you can put in a date let's put in uh, August 1914 it's interesting it went to 2024 okay 1914 and we scroll to date and here we are and this is the start of the first world war if that's something you're interested to know uh, I can scroll to um, there by clicking on scroll to today and it brings me to the day that I recorded this which is um, Saturday the 2nd of November 2024 um,
but today's actual date is probably irrelevant to your novel. It's certainly irrelevant to mine. What I want is for the software to regard the date of my story as today's date. So that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, um, it says here uh, that I can show the uh, today line. So we'll click on that and see what happens. And nothing happens, and that's because this is not today, of course. If I click on scroll to today, then we go back to November 2024, and there you can see now that's the today line. Right, how can we change this? Well, there are two ways. Um, we have to change things in the dates setting, and you can get to the date setting either by going up to the cog wheel in the top right hand corner, or you can go down to the uh, timeline date range thing at the bottom and at the very bottom of that there's a date setting and that will bring you also back to the dates setting. So in the date setting let's go down to the bottom of the panel where you can see four ongoing item calculations override current date time with and there's today's date but if we change that and we can change it by typing June 2500 and then go to, okay, 21st of June, 2500, yes. Then we go to OK. And now when we go to uh, scroll to today and click on that, et voila, we come to Monday, the 21st of June, 2500. And this is how I have managed to set um, today's date in this software and I'm going to save it and close it down and when I open it again it will be um, where I want it to be. I mean I've tested this, it works. Okay, so this is useful for me, um, it might be useful for you too. If you are, you don't have to be writing a far future science fiction novel or a fantasy uh, to want to set a today date that is different from the today date in the real world. <clears throat> you can change it also as you need to. So if you have two or three different today dates for different stages of the novel, you can change the today date uh, in order to be able to navigate to the section that you're working on. Uh, for example, uh, if your novel is focused on two uh, different periods of time, uh, for example, um, events at a summer house in Scotland before the First World War, and then events in the same summer house but 10 years after the war. So you set now to be the date for the earlier period while you are working, while you are writing that section, and then you can reset the today date for the later period or the later date while you're working on that section. And it works beautifully. You can get to where you want to work easily and I am sure that if she had Aeon timeline available Virginia Woolf would have produced to the lighthouse so much more easily. Maybe. There is a new Aeon timeline video about Aeon's character cards which uh, and how I am using them to help me round out the characters of my novel. It's in the pipeline. Watch this space and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching to the end, if you have done so, uh, cheerio for now. I'm just your average Joe writer, maybe average John writer.